Welcome back to Mason Dixon Acres. I'm Elena and today we are going to be talking about seed germination rates. We are Alex and Elena, a couple in our mid-20s working towards financial independence and self-sustainability. Follow our journey as we grow, build, fix, and learn the skills we need to get us there. So let's take a look at my seed lanes. If you look at this tray, you'll see that the seedlings on the right are very sparse. My germination rate for my broccoli and cauliflower were not the greatest. But if we look in the middle here, my cabbage plants and my kale plants did really, really well. Seed germination rates decrease every single year that you have that seed. So in my case, the broccoli and cauliflower were from 2018 and the kale and the cabbage was from 2019. So because these were a year older, my germination rate drastically decreased. You can look up germination rate charts online. Usually they'll give you a range. So if you look up something like broccoli, most charts will say that broccoli seeds are viable for three to five years. One of the biggest factors on how long a seed will stay viable is the environmental conditions of where you are keeping those seeds. So if you're storing your seeds in a very, very humid environment or somewhere where it's really hot, there's a good chance that you're not going to have good germination rates when you go to plant. You want to store your seeds in a location that is relatively cool and has low humidity. If you really want to focus on keeping your seeds viable from year to year, you can place them in the refrigerator in a glass jar. If you find some really old seeds or maybe get some old seeds from a friend, I highly recommend doing what's called a germination test. And the germination test is super, super easy. All you need is a paper towel and a plastic bag. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of pieces of paper towel you're going to need a separate piece for each seed that you want to test and you're going to dampen them. So I just make them wet and then I go ahead and squeeze them out. I actually had already used these for another germination test and I'm going to go ahead and reuse them because there's nothing wrong with them and why not? When you go to place your seeds on the paper towel, I recommend using anywhere between 10 to 20 seeds. It honestly depends on how many you have in your packet. Obviously, you don't want to test 50 seeds because that might be half of the packet that you have. Just use your best judgment on this one. The carrot seeds are pretty hard to see because they're so small. Then you need to roll it up and label it. And then the last thing you need to do is place your samples in a plastic bag. Make sure your plastic bag is sealed tightly to keep that moisture in, and then place it in a location that is warm. Most seeds will take about seven to 14 days to germinate, so be patient and check on your seed germination test in about a week. When you go to check your seeds, you can get an approximate germination rate by seeing how many seeds germinated and sprouted versus how many seeds you had total. When I did this with some of the seeds that I had tested earlier this year, I found that a decent number of them had sprouted and I ended up going ahead and planting those sprouts into cells. This was something I wanted to experiment with. I wasn't sure if those little seedlings would survive, but these ones seem to be thriving. This is what the sprouts will look like if any of your seeds have germinated. You can see here that both of these sprouts have little brown stringy things coming off of them, which are actually roots forming. If your germination rate isn't super high, that doesn't mean that you can't use the seeds. That just means that you need to plant more seeds in order to get enough plants to germinate. So for example, when I was doing my seed test, I was testing a version of broccoli that was from 2013. My germination rate ended up being about 40%. 
but rather than throwing the seeds out what I did is I placed a lot in each individual cell you can see here that my seeds actually germinated a lot better than what I initially anticipated thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this short little video if you like the video make sure to click the thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to our channel for more gardening videos and find us on Instagram and Facebook at Mason Dixon Acres.